is nuts. This is nuts, guys. All right, I do need to get into the left lane. Hold up, you know, Chuck Avocado. Chuck Avocado. Hey guys, we're back. We're about uh, 20, 22 miles from where we're delivering at here in uh, Chicago. And uh, yeah, so I had to uh, go ahead and uh, I did do a more extent trip, uh, pre, uh, pre trip, uh, uh, trip planning on this load just because it is uh, the Chicago area. And we all know that uh, Chicago is a very tight city, you know, low bridges and all that stuff. So after doing some extensive research and looking at reviews, um, I did determine the best way to get to this, uh, to this, uh, what do you call this place? This receiver. And uh, yes, yeah, so basically the GPS is taking me the correct way, but I do have to make some changes to it. Uh, because this place is in a residential area, so um, It has me making a right onto like a street which I will not be making that right on I'll continue to go straight for a bit longer And then make a right and then make another right and then just like kind of like going around the block But um, yeah 19 miles and it is a nice day out here it really is. Um, it was raining last night while I was sleeping or when I woke up and whatnot. But uh, right now we're kind of like in, just in Chicago right now. Uh, yeah, so right now we are, we got our eyes open. I mean, we always got our eyes open, but we have our eyes open. Ben, you know what I'm saying? So, as you can see, that's the uh, Sears Tower or the Willis Tower, whatever the heck the name of it is. I don't know what Chicago locals call it. Uh, I think they just call it the Sears Tower. Even though it's not the Sears Tower anymore, I, I, I don't believe. So, yeah, we're just... Uh, Driving through, we're gonna be heading on uh, Interstate 290 quite soon, and then from there, we'll uh, make our way locally to uh, to this uh, receiver. So you guys are gonna enjoy the ride with me. All right, see some brake lights, see some people merging in. go ahead and uh speed limit is 45 but we're staying right here in this right lane i'm not going anywhere from this right lane but uh, it's a very nice day so yeah like i said i did have to do some rerouting a little bit i don't quite know how to mess with this uh gps 100 percent to be honest so I know there's a way I can reroute it in the GPS, but uh, I didn't have time. I really didn't want to. I really didn't want to mess with it, to be honest. So I'll learn it some other time how to reroute the way that I wanted to route. And if you guys have a Rand McNally a TND85, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know, please on how to make it like make your own route but uh like i said it's not that hard it's literally really simple instead of making the right that it wants me to i just got to keep going straight pretty much all right i'm gonna keep going on this uh interstate 90 and that is uh 
that right there is uh, where the Chicago White Sox play. And uh, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I am a real big baseball fan. Like, I am a baseball fan. I'm a Yankees fan, specifically. That's my team. I grew up in the Bronx. Like, you know, it's not uncommon to have Yankee fans from the Bronx, you know? But uh, speaking about the White Sox, uh, it's the trade deadline today. And uh, the trade deadline uh, is at 1600 today, 4 p.m. And the uh, White Sox, Chicago White Sox, just traded for uh, Craig Crimble, uh, Craig Crimble from the uh, Chicago White Sox. So uh, from the north side of Chicago, he's just traveling to the south side of Chicago. And um, I know that because that's what, you know, they call him. I think I do got to get in the left lane, if I'm not mistaken, because I do got to continue on 90 West. But I don't remember. I don't remember. Let me go ahead and... Because it does show me the lane for this exit, but let me just go ahead and see. Uh, keep right. Take exit. Okay, so yeah, we're in the right lane here, but um, yeah, we're just going through some traffic and whatnot, and uh, it's a fun day, very fun day. I do have my next pickup already, which is about a 70 mile deadhead, which I'm gonna make it over there, and they do have overnight parking, and I'm gonna take my tent over there. Uh, pickup is at 7 p.m., so I'm gonna go ahead and get there check in wake up at 7 go to the dock go back to sleep pretty much and then once they take me off of the dock park back up somewhere and go back to sleep so that is guaranteed rate field home of the Chicago White Sox they actually didn't have that name a couple years back their name was a uh, US cellular field Ask me how I know. I'm a big baseball fan, guys, for real. Like, I like sports in general, but I don't follow basketball and football, American football, as much as I do, as much as I follow baseball. I only follow football and, okay, we gotta get in the left lane. All right, Um. let's see here. Let's see who's gonna let us in. Let's see who's gonna let us in. He's gonna let us in. So we're gonna go ahead and give him some thank you lights. Because that was very nice of him. He didn't have to, but he did anyhow so thank you driver probably a nice four-wheeler all right Mercedes I got plenty of space here you can get in if you want to so when you give them the space like he got his left blinker on you give them the space they don't go in when they don't have the space is when they want to go in who understands these people you know what I'm saying like I don't understand four-wheelers And I'm sure these people are going to be coming in from that left lane, like that Mustang, and try to cut cut people off because that's what they do. The truck behind me just did it. Well, there's a black Ram truck just did it, and he almost just hit my trailer, actually. That truck right there coming up on my right-hand side kind of in my blind spot now but if you look up there you can see yep him right there literally in a rush to get where what is this issue again 
See, those are the drivers you got to be careful for because what the heck is his problem? Literally, we're all in the same traffic. Look, 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 about to cut JB Hunt off. Oh, just cut me off. Oh, freaking douchebags. These people are nuts, but I do know that right lane ends, so we're gonna go ahead and stay here. But there's the uh, Sears Tower, the Willis Tower, or whatever it's called. I don't know the exact name of it, but it's there and it's really nice. Yup. Alright, now we have to go ahead and get over ourselves into the right two lanes. So, let's see if that lane maybe ends because if it does end, then I am in the right two lanes. If it doesn't end, then I do have to get over at least one lane. Um, Jesus. City driving for you. I don't know how you local folks do it, but oh shit! He this track the trailer is merging without a freaking signal. Holy crap! All right, that right lane does end, so I'm in a perfect lane right here, and I'm gonna stay right, right here. Unless we can get over. No, I think I do got to get over. Ah, oh, screw, screw this, man. Ah, oh, screw this. My hands are getting sweaty. I'm gonna, go, gonna go ahead and throw on our blinker here. And we're coming in right after this taxi. And no, we're not because they're not gonna let us in. Of course they're not. Of course they're not. Thank you, driver. Another four-wheeler. I don't know with some car. Oh, because a lane comes on here. I don't know what they. Oh, they changed. Okay, they changed the lane configuration. Is that? Yeah, that's the Sears Tower, ain't it? Yeah, that sure is. I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks really nice. Chicago has a great skyline. I'm gonna take a vacation here one day. I mean, you know, I do have to be a little bit biased because I am from New York. Ain't no better skyline than the New York skyline. But that's just me being. Somebody's gonna try to come cut me off. No, he's not. I got two hours and 34 minutes left of drive time, so I'm hoping I can get out of here soon. So I can go on and get going down the road to my. Uh, gonna cut somebody off yep you can just tell what drivers are gonna do by the movements they're doing you know so like man like you, you're just stuck in traffic man just freaking stay stuck man I mean don't stay stuck obviously but it's moving you know slow and steady wins the race you know what's that one race with the rabbit and the the rabbit and the turtle or the grasshopper and the turtle or something all right so oh we could have taken we could have taken that lane the lane that we was in but i didn't know so i'd rather be safe than starry all right let's go on and get on down here I kind of always duck when I go under an overpass even though I know I'm good I've been through here before but you know anyway just gonna go ahead and get on to interstate 290 and gone about our way oh man my hands are like sweating it's so freaking Ah, 
Like even at nighttime, I bet this is like this. I've never been through Chicago in the nighttime. I just happen every time I come to Chicago or through Chicago, I just happen to be driving in the morning or in the daytime or I have a day delivery or something like it's so aggravating. All right, we're going to take exit 21B to Harlem Avenue, which is at eight miles. So, yep. This is what we're doing, just driving. We're still in this damn traffic jam. I'll tell you what, it's like the sixth car that I've seen do, like more than that actually. It's, I've seen like about 20 to 25 cars just freaking ride the shoulder and it's like, what the freak are you guys even doing? But um, after doing some research, uh, our exit is gonna be on the left hand side so but we're still like a, we're still like 2.3 miles away from that exit so we're gonna go ahead and try to get over uh, once I get down to like one and a half and I see a sign that actually says it once I see the sign then I'll start to make my way over and I do see a sign there but that might be for exit 22 because we are in exit 23. All right, let's see what we see there. That is, that says Austin Boulevard. That is not where we want to go. So, all right, we do got to get in the left, it says it right there, Harlem Avenue, Illinois 43, two miles left. So, all right, let's try to make something of this disaster. try to make something of this disaster here in Chicago, Illinois. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go ahead and try to make this and see if this truck is going to let me in. Nope. Somebody in my blind spot. I couldn't see. Gave him thank you lights. And we're gonna have to go ahead and get over one more lane in about, I don't know, another mile or so. All right. Man, this is so freaking, I, I was, I was kind of scared actually to put on my left blinker. I don't know why, but I was just kind of like, Oh man, I'm just, I want to get out of here, man. This is not where I want to be, for real. Oh. Did you guys see that? Oh my goodness. All those bikes, why don't they ride like the freaking shoulder, man? What is going on here? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get this, man. They're motorcycles. I'd rather ride them, ride the shoulder. Like, this is nuts. This is nuts, guys. All right, I do need to get into the left lane soon. All right. 
Let's see what we got going on. 1.6 miles. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our blinker here shortly. Right after this uh, thing, because people are cutting in. People are riding that left lane all the way over there and cutting in, so to avoid any to avoid any accidents, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and just we're gonna go ahead and just ride this middle lane for a little bit longer. We got about a mile and a half, and I think I've been in this thing for like 45 minutes. I swear. Oh man, jeez Louise.